In 1848 James Pock signed a treaty that ended the Mexican-American War, and gave most of Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, California, Colorado, and Wyoming to the United States. With the addition of these vast tracts of land, more and more cowboys headed to the southwest, where they herded cattle north to market and sold them for beef. As they galloped along, cowboys would sing songs about food like trouble for the range cook. Get along little dogies, is another classic cowboy tune. In it, a cowboy tells the dogies, the calves in their herd, that it's their misfortune, and none of his own, that they will soon be sold to market. As cowboys drove cattle north, cooks drove chuck wagons, which carried all the food and supplies for meals, ahead of the herbs, to set up camp for the night. Meals on the range typically consisted of beef, hash, beans, chili peppers, coffee, biscuits, sugar, and dried fruit. Meanwhile, as cowboys were eating biscuits and beans on the range, President Pock was eating fancy European cuisine at the White House. But James was no stranger to grub. As a boy growing up on the North Carolina frontier, he would have eaten things like black bear steak and barbecued deer. Like other pioneers, simple country foods, like Tennessee ham and corn pone, was what pleased James Pock the most. If you'd like to make some corn pone today, these are the ingredients you'll need. 1 tablespoon shortening, 1 cup water, 1 and half cups corn meal, and 1 teaspoon salt. Stay tuned for the instructions, and have a great day.